Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths. We've had a wee break from it, but now we're back in it. And we're starting off uh, easing back into it gently with what is hopefully going to turn into a quick guide that is completely unscripted, I don't have notes in front of me. And this particular video, as you could probably guess from the title, is uh, on a particular topic, namely tilt rotor aircraft. And this came about because uh, a person messaged me over Facebook and asked, uh, can you do a guide on this kind of thing? And I thought, well, sure, I'll add it to the list. And then I went off and made this thing and I thought, huh, that was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, not 100% optimum results, I have to say, because, well, look at this thing. It's a pretty ugly, very basic test craft. Um, it's not going to win any awards for beauty or style, but here it is. So here's the quick guide on Tilt Rotor Aircraft. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I'm assuming most of you do, a tilt rotor uh, aircraft is basically a weird uh, love child between a helicopter and an aeroplane. It's, um, sorry for those of you who are getting sick, let's fix that. Uh, there you go, it tilts up and now it is uh, still very drunk, but uh, hopefully it's slightly less sickening now. So. Basically, well, as you just saw on screen, uh, it can take off and land uh, vertically like a helicopter, but once it's in the air, it tilts its rotors forward and functions much like a propeller plane. So, that's uh, basically the gist of it. There's a lot of advantages to them in real life, and, uh, and we're still good. There's lots of advantages uh, to them in real life. Basically, they're... Uh, Faster than a plane, well no no no, faster than a helicopter, better range than a helicopter, but they can take off uh, vertically and land vertically like a helicopter, which most planes cannot do. But uh, we're talking from the depths today, so uh, how do you make one of these things? Well, it does involve spin blocks as you probably have guessed already. So, this is a mixture of ACBs and PIDs to accomplish this because uh, the guidelines uh, provided by the person who messaged me was uh, it's basically uh, just deadly blades uh, for propulsion and uh, control, so to speak. So uh, no jets, no stuff like that. And um, and three rotors, so uh, two uh, ones on the side that tilt and one at the back, which I've used as pitch control. So uh, how does this thing work? Well, let's uh, get it to hover again tilting like that. It is reasonably straightforward and remember uh, what I'm about to show you this is how I uh, excuse me, this is how I stumbled uh, on uh, how to make a tilt rotor. There are no hard and fast rules in From the Depths apart from like hard, like just how the game is coded. Uh, there are just uh, recommended guidelines for most things and how to build them. So what I've done here might not work for you but it's a good enough starting point because if I can make this in about, I don't know, half an hour to an hour, uh, you can probably do something a lot better uh, given a greater time investment. So, what is this? So, firstly, the tilting. These uh, spin blocks here, uh, they control the tilt. They've got these uh, on these weak pole things here, and they tilt. And so, the way that works is with ACB. So, these uh, two ACBs have a range of 5 meters, so they're controlling both of these spin blocks right here. And this one is, when the propulsion command is forward, will rotate spin blocks to zero degrees. So, these guys are currently 90 uh, degrees rotation because they are being controlled by this one. If propulsion command is none, say when you disable movement, will rotate spin blocks to 90 degrees. And it is executing them right now. It's not exactly completely still because uh, I've never been good at making things hover completely still. You need to be way better at using PIDs than I am. Uh, particularly with something like this. I have a... Uh, taken many shortcuts in order to get a nice, simple, basic uh, tilt rotor going here. And it does act like it's a little bit drunk, but I kind of I kind of like craft like that. I suspect I'm alone in that because it kind of makes them look alive and kind of lively. Uh, for those of you who get motion sick, I once again apologize. So, basically, when show command is none, we'll rotate spin blocks to how they are now. And when the command is forward, they rotate forward. And so those are the two uh, ACBs controlling the spin blocks here. Back here, we've got a number of ACBs controlling other things. So right here, 
If vehicle altitude is uh, within 300 to 400 meters, we'll set Simba Bok rotation speed to zero radians a second if in continuous mode. So, when I turn that off, and you'll notice that uh, these uh, main Deddy Blades, they speed up and they slow down, and that's that ACB controlling them. And uh, beautiful, beautiful feature that uh, this uh, ACB is only controlling uh, these fellas right here. It's not uh, causing these guys to spin because these are in uh, spinner data rotate to angle mode. If we set that to continuous, uh, that would be a huge problem. And I can't set that right now because uh, the ACP is controlling that, which is probably a good thing because uh, your motion sickness would probably get a lot worse. There's two PIDs here uh, controlling uh, pitch and roll. So this is the pitch spinner back here controlling pitch. And we've also got uh, these air elevators here, which also control pitch. Uh, this thing is honestly doing most of the work, so probably don't even need these. Oh yeah, this thing is uh, RTG powered because I am a lazy sod. And uh, I don't make... Whenever I make test craft like these, I just use RTGs because it's really simple. Plonk down some batteries, plonk down some RTGs, and you're already going. And roll, and these uh, universal flight surfaces are controlling the roll. So if I activate the forces, you can see... The forces acting up and down, here and there and everywhere. These things really only uh, function uh, when the craft is moving forward, so that's kind of why this thing rolls out of the air a little bit. And uh, I could, honestly, it would probably be a good idea to set these guys uh, to roll as well. So, setting this like that. I'm not going to muck around with that right now. Probably should have done that beforehand, but oh well, it only occurred to me right now. Uh, ammo box are right there. Not a good idea to set that right next to the mainframe, that's very silly. But yeah, so uh, here's uh, two other ones, so... Uh, Propulsion Commander's Forward will activate Complex Control T. And these guys on the end of the wings here are set to respond positively to Complex Control T. Which is why uh, these guys uh, just keep uh, spinning at full speed uh, when the command uh, to go forward is activated. And also, you'll notice that the priority over here is slightly higher than... Right, never mind, it's uh, not doing that. No worries! I don't even remember how my own graph functions. So, that activates con Compass Control T, and also, if vehicle altitude is within one negative 1,000 to 300 meters, it also activates Complex Control T. So, if you look at the altitude, as soon as we dip below there, yep, and the props are spinning up. Let's turn this off. Props are spinning up, so these uh, props uh, therefore function as both um, uh, propulsion and altitude control when the thing is standing still. Of course, uh, when the craft is moving, uh, what is con really controlling the altitude is the pitch. So this pitch thing right here, these elevators right here, uh, these universal flight surfaces, which are awesome by the way, like never leave home without them if you uh, are making a plane. And, and these air elevators at the front here, they're all basically controlling the altitude. That's uh, what they do, really. It's because they're bobbing up and down, like this, and it's just sailing off into the distance like a plane. Like a very drunk plane, but I often make uh, my craft very drunk. And once again, we've got... There is an infuriating bug uh, going around right now. I think it's a bug. Like, it's hard to imagine it being anything but, but... Um, uh, with craft, particularly planes, not steering properly. Although now it seems to have... Yeah, there, there. Now we're doing quite on it. Like, it's weird. This thing was working flawlessly when I first built it. But then there was a hot patch and now it's doing this and I don't know why it's doing it. But that, thankfully, is unrelated uh, to how it functions as a tilt rotor aircraft. Thankfully. So it is kind of... It's not 100%. I don't know what it's doing there. It's not the first time I've run into that. Can you not? Please. Please. No. Go that d direction. Why would you do anything else? Okay, so it is going there, at the very least. It wasn't doing that before. I have a knack for making craft that just cannot s steer properly. And this thing isn't even particularly long and lanky. Where was I? So yeah, so uh, that's basically how... The tilt rotor thing functions, it's a few ACBs, a few PIDs. Uh, there's... what reason would you have for making a tilt rotor thing? Well, uh, aside from obvious uh, cool factor, and for you to look like the bee's knees... Oh god, dude, really? No, no, that way, that way, turn that way. 
Sorry about that, but uh, apart from looking like the absolute bee's knees uh, in the From the Depths community with your sexy uh, tilt rotor craft or V22 Osprey uh, replica, uh, the main practical reason for doing this is that uh, it's efficiency uh, for material and power. Because with a lot of craft uh, that hover, uh, what you tend to find is that they have dedicated hovering things. They got dedicated uh, deadly blades. Uh huh. Uh, deadly deadly. Uh, deadly deadly. Uh, deadly deadly blades on top that make them hover or uh, thrusters underneath to make them just uh, hover consistently and they've got other things that function as propulsion whereas this has um, altitude control and uh, propulsion like built in kind of the same thing controlled by a spin block so instead of uh, multiple sets of deadly blades controlling altitude and propulsion uh, they're one and the same, and it's quite handy. Admittedly, this thing doesn't stay completely still when it's hovering, so not perfect. But if you get a little bit less fussy and you just uh, stick some PIDs on there controlling roll... What are you doing, mate? No, 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 don't, don't do it. Come on, get back to there. You're making me look bad on camera. Well, shh, crap. Whatever, this is gonna get uploaded, because I can't be bothered trying to fix it. This probably needs a bug report. What else was I saying? So yeah, so it's just basically efficiency. Um, something to make it go forward, make it go forward and up, uh, however it likes. And hopefully, for some reason, like... What the... No, do that. For some reason, with the uh, combat, it handles just fine, which is very nice. You can see it's just nicely... Uh, doing that 90 degree broadside, chucking its one tiny missile off at the Marauder and is doing absolutely great. And the tilt rotor thing works absolutely fine. So yeah, I have rambled clearly too long. And so if I say I want to capture this thing, I say I want to do something like this. Listening. Moving out. And it doesn't want to turn, so never mind. Come on. Moving out, moving out, moving out. Moving out. You are a real madam, aren't you? Come on, come on, come on, there you go. There you go. Okay. So if this thing was uh, actually wanting to turn properly, uh, what I could do is wait until we're right over that marauder and then abseil down off it and uh, capture it. So that's one handy thing for having something that hovers. I personally hate capturing anything, so not a huge issue. So now switch to hover mode. We we are a sky pirate, and we've missed the Marauder completely. So now Rambot is going for a swim. But yeah, so that's basically how to build a tilt rotor. It's just at least the way I have built this very basic tilt rotor is a, like a little bit of ACB, a little bit of PID, a lot of, uh, a lot of TLC, possibly this thing needs a lot more TLC, tender loving care, uh, from me in order to get 100% functional, but it works, it definitely works, and doesn't roll from side to side like a crazy thing, it just, well, no one is standing still anyway. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to make your own, uh, preferably, well not preferably, what am I saying? I am not one to judge. Hopefully that gives you an idea to make your own uh, vastly superior uh, version of this. Uh, that actually looks good and has lots of firepower, lots of duck out, all that stuff. And in the meantime, uh, we get to play with more from the depths uh, later. So, okay, swim time's over, Rambot. Go sit on your thing. So, thank you all so uh, much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this that make you motion sick. Um, what was it? Like, comment, subscribe. I've forgotten my own spiel again. Da, 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 da. Support me on Patreon if you like. It really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell. <laughs>